Hello everyone and welcome to Autocraft episode 3. As you've seen in the intro, I took some time to build this path. And I gotta be honest with you, I am not fully happy with it. I guess it's not the idea that I had in mind, it's too noisy, I want something more smooth for this area. And since there's no way to fix it by adding stuff, I will be tearing it down, except for the rocks, I like those rocks. But the rest is going to go back to what it originally was. So while we tear the path down, let me talk to you about the plans for today. We are finally building our Clockpunk starter base, and as I anticipated, it's a large project, for which we are going to be needing a bunch of blaze rods, so right after we finish turning this terraforming back to smooth planes, we are going to head over to the nether to gather- what? To the nether? But, but I thought we were going to do things for the tough shop. I, I'm not ready to go to the nether yet. Calvin, I understand, but we both know what will happen if you don't do what- Now that we have finished turning this back to its original state, I will need to take a quick trip into the nether to get blaze rolls for our build. I also moved all my chests to the basement of the base, and of course, I'm still going to make some paths for the horses and so on, but I want them to connect better. We have the obsidian, so we need to make a nether portal. Let's see, let's- just curious. Oh, that was too much. Oh. I think. <laughs> Do you I'm like my path? Good. No. You Why can't not? fix your path by getting rid of your path. <laughs> I know. It's gone. Now it's way better. You got, you got this. Have fun. Thank you. Okay, here we are in the nether. And I know there's a path to a nether fortress somewhere around here. No. Nope. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I kinda know where the fortress is, so what we're going to do is, instead of having a portal here, because I really don't care about having a portal in the basal deltas, we are going to get a lead, and we're going to get our horse, Shangala, come with me. And we're going to travel in that direction, because I think that's where the nether fortress is located, I hope. Okay, so I say the polar bear marks the spot. I'm here, Shangala. Sorry, I know it's cold, but you're going to stay here for now. And we're going to make the lame version of the portal. Okay. Yes. 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 We are on the warp forest. I swear I didn't do the math. I was hoping this was right. And it is. And there's another fortress. And withers and blazes. And he's vibrating. Don't vibrate. Don't shoot at me. Don't freaking shoot at me yet. Terrible fortress. Nice. This is all set on fire. Ah! You can't shoot me, you can't fly. I, cause I made the roof, of cause I'm smart. Let's wait for them to spawn and I'll kill them in no time. Okay, yes, I died. We have plenty of saddles, we can get another horse. Hi, pillagers. Yeah, there we go. Let's go! You are slow. No one else, it's just my fault. It's just my fault. Shangala, hi! I brought a friend for you, Shangala. There you go. Make friend. Bye bye. Quickly, quickly, quickly before my stuff despawns, before we have. Before that. Despawn, all of you. Despawn now. <gasps> no! How? Where? Where? Okay, the skeletons are gone. Oh, that dude. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. There's another one here, but I'm running. Zigzag, zigzag. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. My stuff. <gasps> Poopy, 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 poopy. Give me my stuff, give me my stuff. Oof, 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 oof. Look at me go, let's go. Go, nether, you are so easy. Don't shoot me. That's how I die. We just need five more. Five more and we are done. Come on. Come on, blazes. I'm not scared of you. I already died once. I can die twice. If I'm planning to build with these blocks, I will need a blaze rod farm. I'm good. Bye bye. Let's not forget my stuff. And now time to head out. Time to head out. Time to head out. I am never doing this again. Shangala, you did a great job. And we are back with our 50 blaze rods that we are going to be needing to craft. There's a spider. To craft our copper valves. Shangala, you did an amazing job. Now back with the cows. So to craft these things, we are going to need redstone dust, blaze rods, and a bunch of copper, I think. Where is the crafting table? I don't have a crafting table. There we go. This will give us this amount. I'm going to make all of the ones that I can. We need more redstone. And we have a bunch of copper bulbs. 
But yeah, I'm going to be doing resource grinding. So let's go do a resource grind montage. Because we're going to need more than this. Hey, the armadillos. Look at them. What? He's moving in ball mode. And I think right here we have, yeah, the lukewarm ocean. Or we are close to it. Coral reef. I don't really need a lot from this. I see the pillar where I left my horsey. And we have the coral materials that we needed for this. Coral, 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 coral. The only thing I might be missing is some bricks. And let's go. I'm excited. Let's begin with the first part of the base. Let's roll the time lapse. As I anticipated multiple times, my theme for this season builds is going to be Clockpunk. And what is that? Well, it falls within the punk genre, like the widely known steampunk, with the major difference that it would be located further back in time, during the Renaissance, where mathematics and astronomy were very important. The main technology of clockpunk is based mostly on, as you might have guessed, the mechanism of clocks. So, we are going to be adding gears and mechanical pieces to our base as much as we can to bring this vision to life. Now let's stop here and talk a bit about the build itself. You might have noticed that it's a bit random and chaotic, and I agree, but bear with me because there's an explanation. I'm trying to play around and mix a few techniques. I want to make the structure look like it's metallic, sort of like a brass material, therefore the yellow, orange and brown colors. Also, instead of making smooth gradients everywhere, I decided to play more with contrasts to create abrupt changes in shape and oxidation. And on top of that, I'm playing with lining. The exposed copper bulbs are a great muted light that allowed me to layer glass paints on top to change their apparent color. But since the surface of the structure is supposed to resemble a metal texture, I have to simulate reflections and shiny parts. That's why we have random bits like this segment at the gate with the end stone at the top and cherry at the bottom. It's a lot, I know it's a lot, the scale is reduced, I am not the best at it, but I'm learning and having fun with it. Perhaps by the end of the season I will be better at these techniques. But now I will build a bit more and come back with you. The base is not done, but we did some more progress on it. We have like the top layer now and I want to show you a little bit about it. It is very, very detailed in so many ways. Do you see that? That's why I needed the coral. We have fire coral behind it, horn coral in front, amethyst and glass to get that sort of shiny effect. I don't know, I like it. It's a stupid, but I like it. We even got some crafting tables there. But yeah, it's now all the way around. It's all complete. The back is not super hello. Just in time. Do you have anything that I need? No, as usual. You saw nothing. Okay, yeah, but that is the base for now. And I think now that I've done all this progress and all this bit that is the most detailed part, I feel like now I can dedicate some time to the stuff shop over there because there are a few things that we need to do. Oh, I've also been starting like the work on a on a path here. This is kind of the style that we're going to be going for. And we even have a way up into the mountain. And shopping district. Let's see if anyone has signed up to the stuff shop while we were building our starter base. Um, they should be here. No, no one has signed up. Oh, they've been reading though. They've been reading. Have they? Maybe maybe they put their names here? No. 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 Okay, I thought someone was going to sign up. Clearly they haven't, but that's okay. We, we will need to do some advertising to get more people, but we have. That's why it was important to get this, this, these people already signed up. That's okay. We, we will do some advertising at some point. I need some guards for the staff shop, and I think I know who are perfect for that. The way we're going to do this, I really don't know how to do this, but don't shoot me, stupid. Okay, we're going to connect a lead to the boat, because that's something that we can do now, apparently. And we're going to run into the... I'm not going to die. I'm not... I just attached two leads. I didn't want to do that. Let's go. Are you coming with me? Oh, he's coming with me. No, I'm gonna die. No, let's run. I'm so dead. I dodge. I dodge. Oh, I'm drowning him. No, this is all going wrong. No, he's out. He's out. He's out. Okay, we are good. The stupid pillager is there. Maybe he will come up on that boat now. Please. 
thank you okay and i hi you need to be connected i need to be nice to be me let's go why can't he shoot me don't shoot me oh he can shoot me he gonna kill me i can't dodge apparently yep no i can't i'm dead i'm dead no no why was i diving at the boat okay it's it's good it's good it's good you're good you're good shut up i got a shove for you you don't shoot at the people that give you a shove maybe i don't know do you do you do that am i a bad boss maybe i'm a bad boss don't okay i think i need a smart way of doing this i am out i am the best at dodging you i'm gonna die <laughs> whose idea was this no run 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 it's raining no i'm still attached to the stupid thing how did the thing come all the way up here these leads are powerful these leads are strong hey maybe then i don't need the boat apparently i can attach this and run don't shoot me look if you shoot me i can't get you the shot this is going well i need more food so wait here give me a stack thank you mr pillager i've got a show for you oh there we go you okay it's it's gone it's gone it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay it's okay we're good stop stop shooting stop shooting stop shot for the second stop shooting i hate this i hope that you are as fierce as you are with me with any intruder that tries to go behind our tough shop the boat let's go come up come up come up come up we got this 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 over here get stuck here oh something broke stuck there stuck there you get stuck there let's break the lid he broke my pants that's not a good first day at the shop you mister but he's in place now we need to get another one. Oh, i'm getting good at this nope i'm not Ow. No, you broke something else as well. No, no. Okay. Oof. That was close. 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 No. I forgot there was another one there. To the corner. To the corner. To the corner. And it worked. Almost. Almost. Come on. I can jump with you. Ah, you can't. Oh, can't. You can't shoot me when I'm on top of it. You can't. You can't shoot me if I'm with him. This was the smart way of doing it. And now I just need to silence them because they are so annoying. Come here. Thank you. Silence. Ow, ow, ow. No. Eh, we got it. And I only died once or twice. I don't know. All right. That was enough of a distraction for a second. So let's go into time-lapse mode while we finish the rest of our huge starter base. Yeah, it's it's that's not the base. That's that's a um, that's a replica of the base. Look at it. It's beautiful. I I'll talk about this later on. Let's let's show actually the the real base. We have our secret exit here. As I anticipated last episode and I anticipated as I said many times this episode, 
The base is large and very, very tall, as you can see. This is not the best angle, but I don't know. I really like it. I've never built something like this, and maybe I got carried away with the color and the usage of different blocks, and maybe it's not a starter base, but I don't care because I really like it. Let's, let's get up close so that you can see how big of a monster this actually is. I still want to put more gears and more clock pieces like in the top over there, but um, we have a, a small balloon even there. So I think from down here you can sense how monstrosity this is. Actually, I want to go up into the mountain. From up the mountain, I think we have a very nice view. This is a cool view. I really like this view. You see that looming over the mountain. You see what the heck is that? It's a balloon. You can appreciate the gradient of color that we did there. I think it's very cool. And then you cross over the mountain and you are faced right here with the base. I still want to add like some fire there inside to keep the balloon uh, lit. I'm missing that a bit. I added some vegetation here on the balconies, an entrance there on that area, also some vegetation there, and a lot of lining to make sure that this is not uh, that this is spawn proof. But yeah, I, I really like it. It's funny because in season three, on my first season of Autocraft, I made a hot air balloon for my base and I think it had this size. And now in comparison, it's like, yeah, things have changed. But yeah, let me know what you think of my base. It's a monster, I know, it's a monster. But let's talk about the interior a bit more. Let's leave Shangala here for now. Next episode, I promise I'll make a cute house for Shangala. I did some redstone for the entrance. It's very simple. I want to make a wireless redstone thing here with a skulk sensor at some point. And the interior is still a work in progress. I still need to get rid of the dirt pillar, as you can see here. And there's a lot of chaos that needs to be covered. There's another entrance or exit that we need to do here. We need to connect this with a staircase to the... Um, to the basement where we have our storage we have to find a way to go up as well and here is where i have the replica of my base but it's actually very simple to do this and i want to teach you how to do it on a tutorial soon it's done with axiom it's done easily with axiom uh, but this is just a custom model uh, if i can show you actually let me show you because i can put this on my head as well custom model data set I think it's number three. Yeah, there we go. And there we have our base as a custom model, as you would make with Blockbench. But here I just made the build in Minecraft and exported that as a model. And I can see anything, but I have my base as a hat. So we have a base inception here. And in the hand, it looks like some sort of gadget that tells me the time. Of course, if I, if I place it, it turns back to, um, to the pumpkin. So, But yeah, everyone, this, this, this is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. This has been Calvin, and I will see you on the next one. Goodbye.